Now this fantastic little waste oil burner is made from a dog food tin and a sweet tin with some modifications. It outputs an enormous amount of heat. If you want to see the fuel system in detail and see it fired up, stick around. Here we go. Okay, so hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. If this is your first time here, you'd like to learn how to make stoves, waste oil burners, and lots and lots of other DIY projects. Today, we're actually gonna fire up a waste oil burner. You could start now by subscribing and click the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Okay, here we go. Now, I made this stove myself. I made it out of an oil drum, this thing. I welded a frame with some plate steel and some box iron and some bits and pieces I had around the place. And then I stuck this cast iron door on it, if you can see it. So anyway, um, it's a fantastic stove. It, I made it for multi-fuel. Now initially I was running it just as a stove, but it will burn waste oil. And to make it burn waste oil, what I had to add was a drip feed system. So I'll go into detail on this in a minute, but it works really, really well. Now to make this work as a waste oil burning stove, what I have to do, for my design at least, is plate off the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make all the air from combustion come through a hole, you know, a small hole, maybe four inches in diameter, and come up from the bottom. I'm going to show you that now. Okay, so look, using what you have around the place, this is no big science project, but this used to be the lid off one of these oil drums, as you can see it. And, uh, you know, I just made, I did that with it. <laughs> I drilled a hole and I, um, you know, I cut it in half. The reason I cut it in half is so I could actually get it in through that door. If it was a full circle, I wouldn't, you know, unless I bent it in half or something. But anyway, so this is what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to put these in. I'll show you doing it. I'll have to switch to the other camera. I have to put some light in there because it's very dark. But I'm going to, essentially, I'm going to put that in the stove and I'll show you that now. All right, I have it set up so it goes in this way. So off camera what I did was I put some ash all the way around that plate that you saw me put in. And what it does is the plate doesn't go all the way to the sides perfectly and it curls up because it's fairly thin metal. So I've ash around that just to seal it, ash across the gap and ash around the tin. So now we've got an airtight kind of set up in there. So normally I burn solid fuel in here as well so I always have ash in there anyway. And I just generally leave the plate in there for, um, for handiness sake and it works really well. At, in the meantime what we're going to do is we're going to let some veggie oil in here. Just show you that. So we've got a skinny stream in. Okay. And we've got some oil. Let's see if we get the light on it. There you go. Look, there's our steady stream. Okay. Normally I start this just on pure kerosene. I just squirt in a bit of kerosene, get that going, and then add the oil. But just so you can see the oil set up. Um, you can't see it when the flame is on. So we'll do it this way. So look, squirt the kerosene. That's the kerosene in. If any of the kerosene goes through the holes and into the bottom plate on this, it's actually the bottom of the drum. And I left it about an inch tall so that any spillages can kind of, will be contained there. And they'll burn anyway and get sucked in through the, uh, the flueways. So let's get like this. There we go. It's kerosene with a little bit of oil. Right, let's throw our plate in there. Stick it on top of the dog food tin. Okay, it acts like a bit of a deflector, but it also um, concentrates the heat. And we should get a change in the air when I close this. There you go. So I'm sure you can hear that. You can see it on this camera, but I'm sure you can hear it off the GoPro. And we've got good combustion. There's a change in the air. You can hear it being drawn through the bean tin or the dog food tin and we've got big flames. Now these biscuit tin burners are great crack. They're very useful, you know, just to determine would your setup work with one of these things. But this is one of the welded ones I've done. So I'm just gonna throw this one in now and show you the setup. So look, to install this in the stove is literally that. That's it, just shove it in under the pipe. You can see that on the other camera. What we're gonna do is put some kerosene in it and light it. It only takes a few seconds to get this thing set up. So, okay, we've got some kerosene and um, and squirt in a bit. Right, that's our kerosene sorted out. And literally, to light this, that was it. <coughs> and 
Now that's our kerosene lid. What we're going to do now is we're going to put our top hat on it. So here we go. All right, so that's on it. And uh, what we need to do now is close the door. So let's turn it off. So look, lots of people ask me about the smoke situation. Uh, you can see the stove burning. I'm gonna walk out the door, I have another camera looking up at the, um, at the flue so that you can tell it's, it's not edited. Right, so I'm gonna stand up, go out here now and have a look at the smoke. Right, so if you can still see me, okay, <laughs> we're gonna look at the smoke now. So on the other camera, you should be able to continue the shot. And uh, there you go, no smoke, zero smoke. So that's it, good cat Come on. So look, ton of heat for no money. That's free in my book. So if you like the video, please thumbs up, subscribe down here. That'd be fantastic. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Good luck.